Hi, it's a pretty major story going on right now, and it's a power outage at Terminal 4 at Sky Harbor Airport, and it's causing a lot of headaches. So Danielle Miller is at the airport this morning, uh, where it looks as though, hey, we have some lights back on, Danielle. Yes, Celeste and Troy, good morning. So power is being restored uh, kind of throughout the airport, but it still is out in a lot of areas. You can see here by the boards, uh, flights are already being affected. Look at all of these delays right now. You can see this trickle-down effect is definitely happening because of this power outage. We're still told uh, that Terminal C is still completely shut down. Power is out there, but uh, hundreds of people affected by this this morning out here. A lot of people confused, uh, not sure what's going to be happening here. You can see some emergency lights on here, but not the official lights. You can take a look downstairs. That is ticketing down there. Hundreds of people in line trying to check in, but uh, all the boards are completely clear. The monitors are shut off completely. Uh, I spoke to one gentleman. He said that he had been in line, not moving at all for a total hour. So you can see uh, just hundreds of people. It is a sea of people down here. Lights are completely off. The uh, emergency lights are on, so you do have uh, oh a little gosh. bit of visibility Incredible. down here, but just a complete sea of people. There is the walkway here, but the escalators uh, still closed, shut down at this time. So many people uh, affected by this. Man, look at this. Uh, I mean, we are walking through. You know, some of those flights on the board, Danielle, that you just showed, I mean, those have now been rescheduled. But how do they even begin, right? It's one by one to get all these people back on flights to where they need to go. Well, yeah, when we were uh, driving into the airport, we did see some planes landing, but taking off, we uh, didn't see anybody coming from uh, Terminal 4. But as you can imagine, these people not able to check in, they're not able to uh, check in their bags, but these oh, planes cannot yeah. leave without the travelers and without their luggage. So not sure uh, exactly what the effects are going to be because of this power outage. But as you can see here, hundreds of people just waiting to see what's going to happen next, when power is going to be restored, possibly when their flight is going to take off. So uh, if you are flying in and out of uh, Sky Harbor today, definitely a good idea to uh, take a look at your flight before heading to the airport, because uh, as you can imagine, it could possibly be uh, delayed or even canceled altogether. Yeah, unless they decide, Danielle, to just go ahead and leave all these people here, you know, to, so that it doesn't impact everything else around the country. But I don't know if they're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Get the like flights if you, going Like if you again. have a layover, right, in another city, how does that affect all those people? Yeah, so th this, this will have, I Right, would and even just looking... Go ahead, Danielle. I was going to say, even just looking at the board now, uh, me and Mike Robeson were up there and just... New, like numerously, <laughs> flight after the flight after flight was getting delayed. So that was a clear board at first, and then just standing there for 10 minutes, uh, you could see the the delays coming in. These flights being pushed 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. So uh, I can imagine that things will be uh, greatly affected here for the rest of the day, even into tomorrow or the rest of the week. Yeah, who knows how many of those flights will end up being canceled? Yeah. You know? All right, Danielle, thank Trouble you, and I'm sure you'll be uh, out there and, and staying on top of this for us. So uh, let's, let's get up, up top and look let's, at some video uh, from uh, Sky, Sky Fox. Let's do it. Sky Fox overhead here over the airport. Troy is uh, live overhead. What are you seeing from up in the air at this hour, Troy? Yeah, we're, uh, we're watching uh, most of the traffic come in. Uh, not much leave. Uh, Sky Harbor is allowing uh, flights to land. Uh, the ones that are in route, but we've only seen a random sort of one or two flights take off from Sky Harbor since this whole thing has happened. So what they're doing is they're landing the planes and then they're having to put them in what they call hold bays. So you see across uh, on the other side, this Southwest jet is just holding short of the runway and sitting there and not going anywhere. And it's the same case uh, for many of the other uh, aircraft that are coming in. I'll take you all the way down more toward Terminal 2 and Terminal 3 uh, with the camera, and we can show you that there uh, is one uh, plane landing right now, but we can see that uh, they're starting to put all of these jets in the hold base down here, so oh, everybody is just parking no. until they can get a spot at a gate. Right now, most of the gates are still uh, full with uh, flights that are there, and they're not uh, able to leave, uh, so these jets just have to go ahead and park and wait. Even on the uh, south side, uh, we're starting to see a few spots uh, being taken up. See some Southwest jets here uh, that are parking and holding 
uh, at this at this time. That is my personal uh, nightmare. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> sitting take some on a long plane, flight, and then you just park somewhere on some tarmac. Is that? Well, oh, there, it's a bus. Is that a bus, Troy? Well, they bus some people off that plane. And their plane? baggage is on the tarmac. Uh, yeah, they're, they're trying to get, get the off. luggage off and all that. We still see uh, part of the uh, SkyTrain that's uh, that's moving and, and working as well. And you can see this uh, American jet here, this uh, regional jet that just landed. It's going to go ahead and taxi back to the west and then just become part of the parade of jets that are sitting here and waiting to get to uh, a gate. So take us through this, Troy. I know you, you're around, when you're in Skyfox, you're around all these aviation uh, officials and things. How do you think this plays out? So let's say that we get power back on in the next hour. Uh, and you've got all, I would say, dozens of planes, right, sitting at these gates. And I would, I would imagine there's going to be a ripple effect across the country. And these, they are going to wait, right, until they get people on them to leave, wouldn't you think? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that uh, once they start to get the power back, you know, they'll be able to process all of the planes that are waiting at the gates and get them off and onto their uh, their destinations. But it's definitely going to um, affect uh, the flow times across the to the next destination, how that affects the next flow of traffic and planes coming in and moving around. And uh, we can uh, definitely see that this is going to be a major impact uh, across the country. This time of the morning, there will be uh, normally uh, a dozen or more uh, jets that are waiting to take off. And mm -hmm. now everybody is waiting to just park. So uh, it's, it's going to disrupt just uh, about everything across the country at this point. This is, you know, one of the busiest airports in the country. Hundreds of thousands of people move through Sky Harbor every day. And so uh, it's it's going to have a big impact. You know, and you chat with the folks in the tower too, because of course this is Class B airspace, which you have to get clearance for to fly in. Uh, what are you hearing with chatter with the tower right now? I mean, I'm sure they're kind of trying to figure out how to make this whole thing kind of come together as well, get these flights up in the in the sky. Yeah, you know, they're they're being pretty quiet. You know, normally we would hear just sort of uh, uh, constant uh, clearance and. Uh, things like that about landing and taking off. Uh, we're not hearing any of that traffic really. It's just sort of a land here and there. No really, uh, no really depart, no real departures leaving at this time. And they're informing the pilots and the flight crews that there are some issues at the ramps and that they're going to have to go to the whole base. So they're just kind of giving them a heads up. Uh, this is uh, something that they're learning about in flight, you know, so and in route. Uh, so they're going to have to just sort of deal with uh, everything that's happening. Well, I would imagine you've got thousands of people right now at one of the busiest airports in the country who are uh, having some issues, and uh, there will be issues, I would imagine, around, especially the oh, West. Far um, from over, this yeah. situation, because the ripple effect that it has. Troy Barrett, live for us in Skyfox. Thank you, Troy. Thank you, Troy. Yeah.